Good afternoon, kids. It's Mr. Idukovich back here from Grammar Minute 8. Um, just like we always do, we'll kind of follow through our same routine. I'll read the directions. We'll look at the first five. I'll have you pause the video, complete your work, come back and check it with mine. Then I'll read the next five or six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You'll pause the video, complete your work, come back and check it with me. So good luck. I will get set up and we will get started. Today we are looking at exclamatory sentences. And to put very simply, um, these are just sentences that end in an exclamation point. So if you can recognize this symbol, then you should be all set. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this exclamatory because that is what we're looking for and that's just a fancy way of saying to exclaim to shout to be excited it says or to command i guess you could use an exclamation as a command too if you were upset write yes if the sentence is an exclamatory sentence or no if it is not hint an exclamatory sentence shows strong feelings. That's why it could be a command, too. It's not always happy or excitement. Sometimes it can be frustration or anger, too. But specifically, you're looking for this piece of punctuation, and that is one of the reasons why it's important to make sure you end your sentences with a punctuation mark. Hint, hint, some of you should probably start doing that if you haven't been. In any case, number one, Wow, he can really run fast. Number two, that was the best movie I ever saw. Number three, Susan washes her hair with baby shampoo. Number four, I got all the answers right on the test. Number five, there's a mouse in the kitchen. Go ahead and pause your video and write yes or no after each sentence, telling me whether or not it's an exclamation or exclamatory sentence or not. And these are the answers that I came up with. Number one, yes. Number two, yes. Number three, no. Number four, yes. Number five, yes. Now the difference here, and I didn't read this 100% correctly, is if it's not an exclamation, exclamations also tell the reader how to read the sentence, especially if you're reading out loud. So in this case, I wouldn't be like, Susan washes her hair with baby shampoo, because I'm not super excited about that because it ends in a period. And I kind of misread it earlier. It should more be like, Susan washes her hair with baby shampoo. Just a statement, a regular sentence. In any case, we're going to move up so we can move on. So I'm going to go to 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then I'll read those to you. Will you sweep under the table? Number 7. The boys are at a basketball game. Number 8. Watch out for that snake in the grass. Number 9. Joe lives on Main Street in Kansas City. And number 10. You really saved my life. Go ahead and pause the video, reread the sentences, and put in your answers and come back and check it with me. So number six, I said no, it is not an exclamatory sentence. It's actually a question, or your packet called it a interrogative sentence but this is we're just going to call it a question so will you sweep under the table is not an exclamation or an exclamatory sentence it's not a statement it is a question number seven the boys are at a basketball game nope that's not an exclamation number eight yes number nine no number ten yes so hopefully you did well on those we'll be moving on to bigger and better tomorrow Please don't forget to um, listen to the Chocolate Touch and do your Spelling City. Many of you forgot to do Spelling City last week, so I'm reminding you here, and I'll remind you at morning meeting also. Thanks, kids. We'll see you next time. Bye.